I need to do a quick little patch run down, man. Hold tight. Where is it? It's a bit better. Probably should do priest first, right? So mine spike damage increased by 10%. Void plague damage increased by 10%. Shadow of death. Base damage before modifiers decreased by 40. And then coefficient is decreased by about, what? what is that, like approximately 50%-ish? A bit more, maybe. A bit less, sorry. Maybe 20%, uh, 30%, something like that. What is it? 20, 20 something percent. So yeah, the overall result is 33 to 40% damage reduction. So if you've got more spell power, it's going to be a more of a reduction, right? I think. Is that the way or is it the other way around? If you've got zero spell power, then it only hits for base and it's 40%. If you've got more spell power, then it's going to be a smaller reduction, right? Because the spell power is a higher portion of it, right? So it'll be 33 with the uh, highest spell powers. Now, that should take it... If a 33% nerf. If we say, on, on average, it's about a 35% nerf. You hit a death for about 800 uh, on a non-shadow weaving target, right? So 35% nerf is... Let's see. 800 times 0.65... So your death is going to be hitting for about 520 now if you were hitting for 800 bef before on, on no weaving. Um, and that's with like my current spell powers. So I think it's okay. I think it's now going to start hitting for a more acceptable amount. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and we get, we get, it gets offset a little bit by Mind Spike and Void Plague being buffed. Now, personally, I would have just buffed Mind Spike by 20% and left Void Plague alone. It looks like they want to counteract the spell power nerfs that we had earlier in the phase on Void Plague. They, they nerfed the coefficient or corrected it from 1.2 to 1, or 100% over the duration. So that might be to offset that, but personally I would have just left Void Plague. I think Void Plague is really, really strong in PvP, and they could have basically done the equ equivalent change by making Mind Spike 20% in, in PvE, and then Mind Spike is going to be more valuable to cast in PvP too, so... So overall, I think it's a good change. It's nice to see them offsetting it. Uh, and it was definitely needed on death. Uh, will still be plenty viable. Paladin Art of War now reduces the mana cost of Exorcism and Holy Shock by 80% when active. Beacon of Light base mana cost has been greatly decreased. I mean, this was needed. Beacon of Light is kind of trash because you can just spell it anyway. Um, so if it's super high mana cost, it's just a bad trade for the Pala. So this is good for Holy Palas. Um, and then this is more shocking related stuff, I guess. I wouldn't say it's a buff, screw you, but it's uh, not as much of a nerf as if they didn't do this stuff, right? <clears throat> Conjure Water now conjures a full stack of 20, was 2. This is a nice change, quality of life. Uh, Shaman Dual Spec Rune now provides 50% bonus damage to your offhand weapon swings. Lava Lash now gains 50% increased damage if Flame Tongue weapon is on your offhand. Proc Chance of Maelstrom weapon is now 50% higher when your main hand weapon or your two hand weapon is imbued with Wind Fury weapon. So I feel like this is kind of big enhanced buffs. We might see enhance potentially even move up a tier from this. Um, I want to play the patch a little bit for maybe a day or two and then we're going to do another tier list. Uh, swipe now scales with attack power, gaining 10% attack power as damage. Threat caused by swipe grenade increase. Berserk rune now causes lacerate to hit three targets. Duration of rip has been increased to 16 seconds was 12 seconds. Uh, and the next star fire cast after star surge rune ability now has its damage increased to 80% was 60%. So this is kind of a decent boomy buff. Corrected a bug, causing this bonus damage to be lower than intended at level 40. So this is, a, yeah, a small boomy buff. I don't know if they needed it. I think boomies are still quite strong if, if played well. Um, obviously the range damage is really powerful in things like Blood Moon and BGs. And then some, I think these are more like Feral PvE buffs than PvP. I don't think that's going to make much difference in PvP. So yeah, uh, decent overall changes. Not doing too much, but just addressing the main outliers, which I would say is like death is, is obviously the major problem right now. Um, and then the enhanced buff, kind of standing it out from the rest of it, but yeah. We'll see if any more changes come, but this will be coming on the week. Uh, I was going to say on the weekend, on the Tuesday, Wednesday reset. 